Hey everybody, this is Game Freak 10124, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Stadium Rentals Only. Time for Pika to come. I have two registered sets. I went off screen, I did a bunch of different stuff in this game. I probably mentioned this previously in one or more videos I've done for this Let's Play so far, but I had, um, what I did off screen for this cup was I used that team and I didn't use the nine shells. I want to say it either once or twice, but otherwise I didn't. But I didn't actually use it in battle. I do not believe if otherwise I did not use it at all. So I switched it out for Starmie. <clears throat> so, for this first battle, let's see. Gadabra is good against everything except for Paris and Butterfree in terms of super effective moves. Fortunately, no psychic. Or, si yeah, psychic's the only, like, actual. The side wave obviously it doesn't count for super effective or not very effective damage, but um. <clears throat> I know I need to use Raichu, but then there's also the Paris, so. Also, real quick, I'll show off the movesets briefly. So now... It's underway! Pokémon Tournament Pika Cup! This is a tournament for passionate, young, up and coming! No, nope, I'm reloading. It's underway! Pokémon Tournament Pika Cup! Or I mean loading. This is a tournament for passionate, young, up and coming! Really? Is this seriously gonna be better for every time? Come on, this is the first battle. So I mean that was just bad RNG Pokemon that I had Tournament it twice. Pika Cup. This is a tournament for passionate, young, up and No, I'm getting butter for every time if I start with Kid Abra. It's underway! Seemingly, Pokemon please. Tournament Pika Cup! This is a tournament for passionate, young, up and coming Pokemon! Okay, before anything else, what are the other Pokemon? Butterfree and Kakuna. Okay, I'm gonna try something here. How the crap is like, what is the Lapras' speed that Mabel will not outspeed the Butterfree? Okay, give me Starmie, Kadabra, and Lapras. Oh crap, the dang Paris though. Okay, let me see here. Create a restore point. Suspend point. It's underway! Pokemon Tournament Pika Cup! This is a tournament for passionate young Paris League. Why Pokemon. didn't bring in Starmie like I wanted to? I didn't know it was going to be a, a, the lead off, but in case it wasn't, why I didn't bring this army. The lead, like I got why to. Pokemon short. That was quick! Down already! This Kakuna, Butterfree, or something else. Goes. Oh, it's Minarina! Scratch that your move. A decent hit. There's a big difference in HP. 
Time for Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam! There, it's a hit! Oh! Is it down and out? There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokémon. Oh, it's Butterfree! The remaining Pokémon count is 3 to 1. The battle has become one-sided. Labras is not faster. Good of course it got the confused hacks. Good. How's that? Super effective! Wow! Take him down with one hit! I figured that should knock it out considering the damage the it did to Nidorina. And whatever, freaking notification. <laughs> Lapras covers everything with a super effective hit. So Lapras again. Can we expect to see? Begin round two. Bell Sprout or one of the flying types. Bumblebee! No! This Pokemon looks wrong! Why? Take it down with one hit! There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. Oh, it's the Jota! The remaining so what's it gonna wanna do? Be evil and use sand attack? Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one-sided. Nope, yay. What now? Victory. A decent hit! Got a run and star me a little. Actually no, never mind, oh, because Ivy Soul was the lead off. In this instance, for the RNG. And there goes the battle! is getting against everything except for the Nid Arena in terms of super effective moves. Well, so is Raichu. Who has the higher special? Star me, however, Raichu gets stabbed, so... The upcoming battles look promising! We're into round three! Think so. Now. Ah! Bear hit. Bear hacks. 
Oh, here's the first move. A decent hit. Seismic toss time. What a furious battle. There, it's a hit! Ow! Oh, is it down and out? What will the next Pokémon be? Fried! Oh, it's Starfish! How will the... Time for Fried Starfish! Different effect that! Here it comes! Thunder! Whoa! Looks like a bad Pokemon choice! Wah! Take it down with one hit! There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon! Oh, it's Poliwhirl! The remaining Pokemon count is... Three to one! The battle has become one-sided! How's that? Super session! Gone! It's a one-hit wonder! <laughs> and there goes the battle! We both had Star, I mean, Star you respectively in the second slot. <laughs> Here's where Starmie's gonna shine. Actually, you King would too, but the fact that it's slower than me. Starmie. Actually, substitute, because this thing wants to use hypnosis. We ain't putting this starfish to sleep, I don't think so. Denied. Absolutely was starving in this fight. There's the attack! A decent hit! What now? Thunder's more powerful than Bubbly in the stand. Substitute took the hit! Doesn't that thing have headbutt? Pokemon appear equally fit! Secret attack! There! It's a hit! Really? Frickin' Laurel? What's next? It's gonna use Bumblebee. The substitute disappears! I'm only doing this in case uh, I end up getting a freaking miss. Either one is conceding an inch. Because I'm resubstituting. It's created a substitute. Resubstitute land the thunder, and then the next Pokemon can't do anything. So say if it's nine tails and it eats a bubble beam, I'll be free from damage or status crap. Next battle continue! Now I get the crit, whatever. Oh, is it down and out? I got to get a freaking fully, uh, fully. What will the next Pokemon be? Well, whatever it's, it's max HP, or whatever its HP is, I got to get another complete oh, substitute fire. up again. And Nine Tails did come out, and oh. unless I get a crit, it will survive the bubble meme. Type difference affect that. Show me your teeth, have some bubbles. Bubble beam! Whoa! Looks like a bad Pokemon choice! And yep, body slam. What will it do? The substitute was used up!
Fireworks are flying in this battle! How's that? So perfected! Oh! It's down! There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokémon! Oh, girl, please, it's gonna be Charmeleon. Oh, oh Sandshrew! Sand I'm not worried about you! Considering how much damage Ninetales took from it, and it's got decent slash good special, you're toast. Is three to one. The battle has become one-sided. Blow it away with bubbles. Wow, that's a second hit. Why take it down with one hit? And there goes the battle. Concerning Bobo Beam is called Bobo Beam, I'd like to think Blastoise uses its cannons for that movie, even though, at least in the Stadium and Coliseum XD games, but Blastoise uses its mouth. Or maybe at least the Stadium games. Oh, but you get hack it up with Blastoise and Bobo Beam on it. I don't know if it gets it as an egg move in Gen 3 or not. And you think it's a good choice, but you've got the King Alert as a thing. So, anyway... I think I'll lead off with Star Me in case the King Alert is a lead off. I've got Neo King as a safe switch in. And then, uh... I don't think the other one really matters too badly, but... And I don't think that Mankey's really going to be an issue. So just in case, bring in Haunter for self-destruct. I got I'll need that, but that will give me another option. And the best option out of my other Pokemon for this battle. Here in the last half of the tournament, things will get quite hot. Begin round five. Crap, the frickin' Porygon. Is it always gonna be the Porygon? We're in the last I remember this happening, the if I'm Things correct, when I did my off-screen Begin round stuff. five! Same time though, I don't know if that's a psychic We're move We're in the last half not. of the tournament, things will get quite hot! Begin side. round five! Up oh, back might. Let's see what the other Pokémon are after I do my suspend point. What are they? The Porygon, of course, King Alert is in it. Well, I'm not going with that then. No, thank you. We're in the last half of the tournament. Things will get quite hot. Begin round five. Let me see the team again. I mean, I just realized there's really no reason to have Starmie instead of. Raichu, honestly. So yeah, Raichu instead, and then Haunter, and Nido King. Like, the one thing it has on Raichu is speed, but three points shouldn't be any sort of major deal. The only thing on his team that's outspeeding Raichu, unless he does and I'm wrong, is his Raichu. We're in the last half of the tournament. Things will get quite hot. Begin round five. First off, what are the Pokemon? Okay, yeah, I'm fine with that. So, now, what are you going to want to do? You're going to want to use... Um, Thunder Wave? Vigorous attack! Because if so, that would be a reason to watch Starmie because of Substitute. Nope, straight up Psychic. What will the trainer do now? And the weak spot! He has Mankey and I think the Kingler. I can't remember what it was. Let me do this and recheck because I forgot. No, it's Voltorb and Mankey. 
of its main guy stay in, of its Voltorb by switch. Either way, I'm good to stay in with this, despite that crit. Here it comes. I'll take the crit over the special crap. <laughs> Is it down and out? What will the next Pokémon be? Oh, it's Bulbor! It has to make... Here's the thing though, what does it want to do? The Just Thunder Wave? Because so, I see no reason to... Oh, you know what? Well, I'm glad I've got Haunter! <laughs> I don't Pokemon think so, but I'll screw you. Two. This battle is still up in the air. Here's a Pokemon chase. Oh, it's Hunter! Unless Mankey gets digging for Gen 1, and I'm hitting that. Oh, nothing but air! Or rather, I've done that. Yeah. There's down. nothing in Mankey gets in Gen 1 super effective against Haunter, so I can't really do much to me. If anything, I'll all besides Seismic Toss, since it can, it can hit oh, those types in Gen 1. The remaining Pokemon count is 3 to 1. See how much damage the Thunderbolt has does. Become one -sided. It'll do a lot considering Gen 1 special. Ah, it pulled up Mega Punch. What That's now? hilarious. <laughs> oh, the attack missed. Neither one is Nightshade. Nightshade. There, it's a hit. Oh, hit down. And there goes the battle. Here we go. Get the call battle I'm coming. He's got Rhyhorn, so that's level 20. If Rhyhorn comes out, he has to have Wigglytuff and Seedra out because the other three cannot be out with none of the other three can be out with Rhyhorn because that exceeds the level limit. Okay, seriously? Get rid of that thing too. Anyway, um. I mean, Starmie's obviously the best lead off. There's no doubting that. Well, I better have Raichu as backup just in case. Honestly, I think I'm thinking Nido came for the other one. Kinda of funny, I have not yet used the Yuki up at this point. <laughs> We're in for round six. Okay, first off, let me see. Number one, do you have the right horn? You kinda of figured. This is good against both the other two. The Rhyhorn and the Cedra. So, I don't know what I want to do. I want to say maybe Body Slam. Maybe. Go for Thunder Pokemon Wave, please. Please, please go for Thunder right Wave. Oh, King. No Mega Kick. Here's the first move. Ha! You missed. Oh, yes. <laughs> nice. Beautiful. They're both being cautious. Double kick is, yep, Earthquake with Stab is more powerful than a super effective double kick. There's the attack! There's the Critical hit, way to go! One shot? Nope. Oh well. It's more resistant to physical blows. What a furious battle! I'm gonna use, uh, knowing I have Earthquake in, plus the uh, type advantage, he's probably gonna switch in Cedar next, most likely. So, let's have a little fun. Use Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam! 
That was pretty beautiful, though. This is the Mega Cheek. Then I get the current Earthquake before it uses Reflect. If I didn't get that crit, it would have taken two more Earthquakes to knock it out. That was freaking beautiful, man. I love it. How will the Taking no chances, though. Are you gonna go for a water move, or do you want to use Smoke Screen? Attack. Will you live the hit? <sighs> Come on. Freaking crack. I want to know if I'll live the hit. Big wrist attack. Super nope. Oh well. Here's a Pokemon tree. Freaking loving it. Having fun with this PJ Cup. <laughs> what now? Kind of funny, I'm more fun with that if I'm correct than I did with round two with my extremely overpowered, well, like, technically illegal team. <laughs> Even though you can use the Ditto Glitch to get it. Change the flow of battle? Actually, do you want to use smoke screen now? It created a substitute! Nope, double edge, okay, Change yeah. The flow of battle? Here it comes! Thunder! That one hurts! Crit, take that. Wow! Take it down with one hit! That's for the comeuppance for There's your wiggly tough the getting the... Wait a minute. No, never mind. Right, you got crazy oh, in the last battle. Ooh, this one looks formidable. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has Ain't become formidable. This is a wobble. Critical hit to Boo. If you eat those words, that crit bubble beam there announced her more so than the bad news. Wow, effective. I don't know if it will wall roll that Ryor can survive the bubble beam from this time or not. Probably not, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, Starman's good against everything except for the frickin' Mr. Mime and Meowth. If that Mr. Mime lets you go for frickin' Thunder Wave, though, because Starmie has the substitute, we'll see how this goes. Obviously, I have to have Raichu's backup for the Gyarados and Tentacruel, whichever one's in the battle. I'm thinking Lapras for backup against Arcanine. I'd like to have the Haunter, and especially because that self-destruct is so damn good, but... I'm gonna try not having the Lapras. Since I have the power of safe seating. This is it, the semi-final! It's fun to be no able to smear them in the game you're not, because far. you're never usually able to unless you're playing this through emulator or something online. And Tentacruel is the leadoff. What are the other two Pokemon? Arcanine and Mr. Mime. Is it faster? It seems like it is. Yes. Oh, toxic! It opted to slowly damage the opponent. Vigorous attack! And I miss. Now. Oh, toxic! It opted to slowly damage the opponent. Big Rift attack! Oh, the Seriously? I just thought, bring in Haunter! Your toxic ain't doing nothing. Oh, and a rough Pokemon chain! Oh, it's Haunter! You know what? I'm self-destructing. Oh, toxic! The move failed to click. They're both being cautious. 
The Mr. Mime and the Arcanine. I don't think he would switch. Thunderbolt. I know it's gonna surf. It doesn't switch, yeah. Right, that surf! And the weak! Oh, I don't think so. They're both being cautious here. Right, that sir! Severe hit! Come on, Parahax, 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 damn it. They're both being cautious. I'm gonna try confusion then. Right, that sir! That'd be good, no freaking critical. Confused. It's confused. I'm to be able to get it to hurt itself so I can twice or once, and then I get the Parax off Thunderbolt and then self destruct the thing. No, I swear if the programming allows it to not hurt itself ever. Good. Come on, crit or pair up. Crit might not have enough though. I did not get either. Neither one. Or stayed in case it snaps out of it. It's self elements confusion! Good. Bam! Well heck at that point, Thunderbolt. And I can do whatever on the next turn. Oh heck no! And I even got the freaking confusion hurt the first time. Yep. Granted, I reloaded for the first turn. You know, reloaded the state, but whatever. I don't care. What that? That one hurt. Now I get the crap. Whatever. Oh, is it down and out? What will the next Pokemon be? Come on, bring in the Mr. Mine for the type advantage. Nope, the Arcanine, it's probably faster. It has to make up for Maybe not though, because I know Haunter does have good speed. Who is faster? How will the type difference affect that? Sigh. How will the type difference affect that? Pokemon. And I myself destruct. underground. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? It is not that. Oh, actually, you know what? I messed up a lot. What I'm wanting to do is see how much Jake does compared to sub to HP substitute awards ah! until by. What's this? Heart blow. Yeah, that does more than substitute, so I'm subbing on that. like to bubble beam if the thing can finish off Starmie and then it gets knocked out and then I freaking 
The battle has so become one fight. The monster. And I'm fairly certain it does have thunder. What now? A decent hit. What next? The attack wasn't effective. Neither one is conceding an inch. What this? Remember having oh! Is it down and out? What will the next Pokemon be? Time to end it with a bang. I swear if this thing outspeeds it too. Well, Arcanine, I expect it. <laughs> Pokemon stock is two to one. The combatants are making sparks fly. Oh come on, it's faster. Go ahead and Pokemon ruin my fun I wanted to have. I know I'm good because I have brought you, but come on, man. That's ridiculous. A psychic blast. Whoa! Looks like a bad Pokemon. I had a bunch, but still. Wow! Deny really my soul down. destruct. Both Least Haunt or help against the freaking tentacle. Pokemon. But still. Oh, deny my soul destruct fun. Stupid thing. There's I swear I remember Raichu being fast. One Pokemon oh. aside now. The battle is coming right down Good. to the wire. Here it comes. Thunder! Yeah, it's a hit! And it's down! And there goes the battle! Either Raticate or Dragonair will be out if there's a level 18. It can't be a both of them. Okay, so I'm fairly certain I learned that he always uses the same three Pokemon no matter what. The Dra now that I think of it. The Dra I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I remember reloading time and time again if I'm correct on what I remember. And. Every time he always leads off with Dragonair and has Slowbro and Colfable in the back. So, I want to lead off with Haunter. Besides that, obviously, um, I select Raichu and not Nido. Oh, wait, he always has the Colfable. Maybe I will want Nido King then. Yeah, I'm thinking so. So, anyway, create a restore point. Fairly certain he always leads off with Dragonair and has always has slow bro and Clefable in the back. This is it! At least with my final team. battle! Who will back the glory of the championship? Add that asterisk there. At least with my team, he always leads with this one and has those other two in the back. It might differ and another team would happen with Radicate. That much I don't know and have not experimented with and will not experiment with. So if anybody knows differently, and a different team can have them have a different set of Pokemon, please, especially you, Dragon Susan One. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments below, please. Anyway, as I just said, Dragonair, Lowbro, and Fable. I did a bunch of reloading to confirm that with my team, he'll always have those three. I never had any other combination besides Dragonair's the lead off and the other two in the back. Now. Seems like Hunter out speeds, yes it does. Flash up confuse ray. It's confused! Pfft, 
sweet. Whoa! It attacked itself! First time here resolving a fusion. Nice. A furious battle! Then I want to go for one nightshade and have it hurt itself again. Then I can self-destruct to finish what it now? off. A decent hit! Oh, it's yes, I can knock it out with Nightshade. Heck yes, Neither let's go. Is this is beautiful. Eight. Oh crap, I'm level 15. Eight. Oh, I have the Nightshade or Thunderbolt. Go for that in case I get a freaking pair of hacks or crit. He's gonna waste two more hits to finish it. Critical hit! It did knock it out, but still. It of course it did. It's alright, though. Ah! I'll draw some pieces over two mine so I can get off self destruct on either Both one. Pokemon are exhausted. I'm fairly certain this time through I got quite a bit, slash, a lot more use out of Honor than I did in my uh, previous yeah. playthrough. Why I used or previous playthrough is where I used. Oh, is it down and out? What will the next Pokemon be? Oh, it's Clefable. It has to make up for lost ground. I'm doing a little bit of experimenting with Thunderbolt or Confusion, but if I can't get lucky with Parahaxing or getting Confusion on it, a critical hit. Let me do a fourth one. Let's see. Will Soldier Strike do more damage than that or not? I will roll whatever does more damage. I think it will. Uh, I did not use that. I think it will because Soldier Strike has defense, but we'll see. Yeah, I did more damage. Wow. Going down. Which Pokemon is coming out? Bring in Nido King. Oh, it's Nido King. The Poke. Pokemon are entirely different types. Critical hit, yay. Oh, I can do some chip damage to slow over before it knocks it out. There's only one and then I can finish it with right Oh, it's Slowbro. The remaining Pokemon stock is two to one. The tenth battle continues. What's this? There, it's a hit! Whoa! Sweet, I lived! What a f Curious battle! Again, just in case a misclick happens. What now? A decent hit! A psychic flash! Super effective! Flash! Go down! Both combatants are down to their last Pokémon! Oh, it's Raichu! There's... One Pokémon aside now! The battle is coming right down to the wire. Very certain the slow bro. Yeah, but Greg also can play a little half thunder wow, wave. That's an effective hit. And it's down. Congratulations! The champion has been decided. That is, not only is this the best team I put up with for PK Cup, they all contribute a very good amount to all the battles. Every single one of them gets a good amount of use. Uh, 
Hunter got more use of and was more important than it was for me previously. Raichu, very important. Nido King, not as important as I'd like it to be, but still quite important. Oh wait, I didn't use Kadabra at all. You can make an even better team then. Because Kadabra did, I did not, I forgot about him. I did not use Kadabra at all. Interesting considering I know in round one, Dragon's 271 got hella use out of that freaking Mr. Mime. Granted, I know he's. he's At least in round one, he didn't abuse the crap out of save states like I have been, but still. Anyway guys, that's it for this video, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time for more Let's Play Pokemon Stadium, Rentals Only, bye everybody.